Hello everyone, I it's 386 sx and we have something new to show you from the fine folks over at ProtoWeb. And it's going to be this website right here, this warpstream.net. Now you'd think that I could just go to this website and... Uh, And be ready to go. The answer is no. But rest assure you, it does work. So let's dig into this a little bit. So yeah, this project is brand new from ProtoWeb, which is they're a service they're trying to restore well to the best they can anyway, to uh get it so you can see the web like it was in the nineties or in the past. This is uh as you can tell, this is YouTube of yesteryear that you're basically seeing. And this project from, yeah, as at the time of recording, by the time this is uploaded, it's going to be about two weeks old. And it's a video hosting site. You can play YouTube videos. And you're supposed to be able to use Real Player, Windows Media Player, and YouTube's Flash Player. Full disclosure, I was not able to get the real player variant to work, but there may be something I'm doing wrong with that. I, I this, this is my first rodeo with real player, so forgive me if I don't know what to do with that one as much. But, uh, but yeah, you have basically, it's a lot of videos from 2005 to 2006, and there's some, some there's resemblance to the 2008 YouTube and uh, we can go through the whole the whole list, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to put a link in the description to this. And there's some of their retro folks out there that allowed ProtoWeb to use their modern content to be played in this 2008 format on their site. Uh, the 8-Bit Guy, of course. You got Computer Clan, Curious Mark, LGR... Michael MJD, which is one we'll probably see later. Retro Tech Chris, of course. I actually saw him respond to a post from the uh, from Justin D. Morgan. It's another YouTube channel that you need to subscribe to. Does a lot of 80s and 90s stuff, uh, live streams on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's, I think his latest one, at least at the time of recording, was getting his Mac IICI to ICI. And he would just playing around with ProtoWeb on it. One of these days, we'll mess with this uh, 90 megahertz Pentium PC. Try this on that. Or, and possibly the Wii. They do own a Wii. Now, we could do this a nice, simple way, and we can download this RetroZilla 2.2, which we can start doing right away. That's now how I work here. If you've watched this channel enough, we are going to be going one step back. We're going to do the Windows XP variant of this. And, yeah, some of this stuff just flat out doesn't work. At least I haven't figured it out yet, but... We'll take out one of the compacts and try this at some point, but... But, yes, if you try to go to warpstream.net, it is going to just say it's taking too long to respond, and your life is going to be terrible. But, let me... I will get over to the new computer here, or the XP machine, and uh, we will continue on from there. Okay, we are going to use Internet Explorer 8 on an IBM ThinkPad R52. Now, this is a little bit nice for an XP machine. That was nicer ones out there, of course, but this is not exactly on the bare minimum requirements end of it. It is pretty much maxed out, but it is definitely an IBM ThinkPad R52 with all the IBM fixings on it, short of a background. Uh... Oh, I didn't know why I loaded that, but let's go to Internet Explorer 8 and let us load. Let's just try to go into this and see... Oh, we forgot a step. So, before we do anything else, we have to set up a proxy. So go over to Connections. Mine's already filled out, but you got to go to Wayback 
www.protoweb.org port 7851. That's to use any ProtoWeb services. You must use that if you're not using that customized browser. So let's press OK to that. Let's try the warpstream.net again, and I think it should work. Yeah, here we go. That easy. Now, another thing I'll show you too. This is the original ProtoWeb project. It's websites that from the past that they're trying to get back available to the hands of people around the world. Uh, you got the old Yahoo browser. You got Google. Let's, I don't know how functional this is. But yeah, this is the old, old Google. Oh, nice. Anywho, uh, so back to our video at hand. Uh, if you're interested in learning about Proto Web, the more of the original service, I do have a video on that, which uh, I will eventually put in the description or put a little card in the upper right corner uh, that you can take you to that. And actually, in that video, I used their dial up proxy, which is, I think it's port 7856, but I could be wrong. But uh, uh, if you click on the card in the upper right corner, you should. Once I get it up there, then you should be able to view that, but I digress. So let's click on one of these. I'm going to try and avoid the stuff with music just because of copyright. So let's install Windows 1.0 on an 80 Zenith TV. Portable PC, excuse me. I, I don't know why I said TV, but... And it's installing something. This is one of the modern videos that were... Uh, made to fit the, uh, what you call it, the 2008 variant of YouTube. And I think it's trying to play in real players, so we're going to switch that over to Flash. And there we go. We got Butter Smooth YouTube on a Pentium M. And there is sound. Let me fix that. Longer one is a better word for machines like this. It was recently given to me by a friend of mine, and we were able to confirm that it works with the Pentium. All right. Not that I don't want to hear it, but uh, I just want to keep this video short to the point the best I can. The only way I know I, that I can. So let's find something from 2006. So I'm going to, like I said, I'm staying away from. Anything that I think has any music in it. Let's try sports. See? Butter smooth. Let's try a Windows Media Player just for giggles here. Now, the, the Flash Player version's a little bit better quality, in my opinion, but uh, that's all right. But that's maybe just a limitation of a web browser. Flash Player just may have been better at the time. And, yeah, you can get the comments for this video just right to this, so that's kind of nice. Let's bring it back to Flash Player. Let me show you settings. So by default, this will use the Flash Player from 2007. Let's try 2006. And we are definitely going to skip that politics session today. So this is YouTube from 2006. All right. So yeah, that's YouTube in 2006. Let's go to channels. I didn't do that. 
yeah, and these are certain channels that, uh, yeah, like the 8-Bit Guy, 8-Bit Keys, Computer Clan, LGR, Matt the Retro Geek. Yeah, these are some of the partners of this project that, uh, I don't know, I, I didn't know he made videos. That's... Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see if they actually work in here. I'll be very interested. I did not know he was active on YouTube yet, but sure enough, he is. And just a small handful of popular classic channels. I'm not going to go into that, but yeah, that's awesome. Uh, let's go to about, and this will tell you, the, I think this is the page that, uh, we landed on earlier, and if you don't have Flash Player or Windows Media Player or Real Player, you can get this here. And these download links actually do work, and I will uh, I'm more than happy to show you that right this minute. Okay, should be... I'm not actually going to install it, I'm just going to prove a point, so yeah, so... We're going to save that. That's going... And I believe this is a server in Texas that this is hosted on. I don't know how great their internet is down there, but or where this is or what part of Texas they're in, but if it's not going to be perfect. It's a hobbyist project. Yeah, it looks like there's... Yeah, Oliver I've worked with before. Lots of testers. And this will give you some troubleshooting specs and uh yeah just uh I'll, you can read this on your own time but uh yeah that's pretty much it for for this uh so yeah if you want to see what youtube was like in the mid 2000s or if you want to see it embedded in windows media player or god forbid we get real player to work there it is so I don't know a whole lot about this project because I was not on the testing part of it or anything like that. I only knew about it a couple hours ago. But, of course, if you have any questions or comments or constructive criticism that uh, you feel need to share, you may do that. Otherwise, I thank you for watching and have yourselves a good one.